FCA big rooms are a great example of flattened hierarchies where information is shared and a wide range of stakeholders are involved in the decision-making process. But what happens when we inevitably disagree? Conflict can often become heated and individuals can entrench themselves in their position. In these situations, both parties wanting to win can harm relationships and alienate others. By using the frame of positions and interests, we can think differently about conflict and better understand how to work together to find a solution. We are all human and feelings are often at the heart of the matter. Sometimes what we see or hear isn't the whole story. Positions are what we want, need, think or feel and are often more overt aspects of our communication. I really can't work with that department. Interests, on the other hand, are the motivations for our positions, our needs, concerns, fears and aspirations, i.e. what is actually important to us. Last time I spoke to them, I just didn't understand what they were saying to me and it made me lack confidence in their decisions. As a coach, if you can uncover the interests that motivate the position, there's a much better chance of dialogue. To help, try to separate facts, the things we see and hear, from judgments. Remember to pause, ask yourself, what's the story I'm telling myself? And be curious. It helps to try and put yourself in the other person's shoes. Use empathy and treat the other person with respect as you try to uncover the interests that support their position and explore ways of working together. Communication is, of course, a two-way street. And as a coach, you may have to be brave and take the first step. Describe your feelings carefully and gently. Use I statements rather than you statements that are often heard as blaming. Try to listen to others' feelings without judgment or challenge and try to understand their emotions. Be careful not to tell them how they feel. Instead, offer a tentative interpretation like, I sense you're uncomfortable with that. If a colleague is angry, maybe be more direct and ask why. Finally, try to use and, not but. But often can be interpreted as dismissing everything that was said before. Consider the difference between, I can see your point of view, but I have a suggestion. And, I see your point of view, and I have a suggestion. We don't live in a perfect world, and we don't always agree. However, a good working relationship is not contingent on agreeing and it depends on the ability to work through differences. As coaches, remember to be hard on the problem, not the people.